Hey guys, it's Rich Man. The Fire Stick is an incredible streaming device for video on demand, especially considering its low price point. But did you also know that it's a great device for live TV? With that in mind, this is going to be my ultimate guide to live TV on the Fire Stick. So strap yourselves in and get ready for a boatload of free content. Okay, we're going to start right here on the Fire Stick home screen. Scroll over to where it says Live. Then scroll down one click to the Guide icon. Once here, you'll see the Guide and the On Now section. Now the On Now section to the right are programs that are being shown live right now. Makes sense, right? The red lines below the programs have a red bar that tells you how far into the live program that they are. If you scroll over and click on a program, the Fire Stick will take you directly to the program itself. I'm going to click on the guide first. Now the first thing you'll see here is the IMDB TV section, which comes pre-installed on the Fire Stick. It's a detailed episode guide for what's on right now on the IMDB app. You'll see channel listings on the left, and across the top, you'll see your local time, and when the program's listed below it, we'll be on the air. So if we scroll down here, you'll see there's a ton of free live content. And it just keeps going down. This is all on IMDB TV, guys. Now if you keep scrolling down, you'll see News by Fire TV. This is Amazon's news feed. There are about 12 or 13 options here if you'd like to get your news from Amazon. Personally, I'm not really a fan of these channels, but they're there if you want to check them out. Convenience is the name of the game here. Now these are just the live TV options that come preloaded with the Fire Stick. There are a lot more better options that I'm going to get into now. But before I do that, let me ask you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you find this content useful. It's completely free and it really does help my channel out. Become part of the Rich Man Knows Tech community. We have a great community of people that will help you out in the comment section of my videos. Okay, next, you'll see a blurb at the bottom of the Fire Stick screen that says, press, and it's the three line button, to add and manage channels. That's this button right here. You'll see it right on the end here. It's called the Options button. They also call it the Hamburger button. So go ahead and press the Options button on your remote. When you do, you'll get a clear pop-up on the right-hand side of the screen where you can filter channels, add to favorite channels, manage channels, add channels, and get more info. What we're going to do here is scroll down and click on Add Channels. Now you're going to get a pop-up page where you're going to add live channels. You can select all the apps if you want, or what I'm going to do is just pick a couple here because it can get a little overwhelming with all the free content that you'll be getting. So keep in mind that the content is ad-supported on a lot of these apps, which is why it's free. So I'm going to add three apps here. We're going to scroll down, and I'm going to scroll over to Pluto. I'm going to click on Pluto. And then I'm going to scroll down and scroll over to Plex. Let's add that. And then I'm going to add Zumo. So click on that. Now you're going to scroll up to where it says Get Selected Apps. And click on that. Now click and confirm that you want to download these apps. Now it's going to install each of these apps and load them into the live TV section on your Fire Stick. I'm going to let them load up now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've given them a few minutes to load up, guys, we're back on the home screen. Now we're going to go back into the Live Guide section. So scroll over, scroll down to Guide, so again, click on that three line button, the, the option button, and we're going to go down to manage channels. And here you're going to see all the channels that you've downloaded plus what's already pre-installed. So if you want, say, Plex to come up first, you go down to Plex, 
you're going to click on move source, which is these two, um, the fast forward buttons here on the side of the remote. So click on that and then you can move it up to the first position. Then you click the select button right here and it's going to set it in that position. So now we're going to go back home. Again, go to the live section, click on guide. Right now it's still on news by fire TV. So we're going to scroll down. You'll see here Zumo at the bottom. You keep scrolling down. There's a lot of stuff on these apps, guys. You're going to have so much stuff to watch. Here's Plex. And here's Pluto TV. So that's it for now, guys. If you found this helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. This is Rich Man. I'll see you in the next video.